that that's a hazardous situation. That particular light gets kind of warm, okay? Um, and the plastic, according to the report I got, was hot. The light, did they have a stand on it? No, not the picture I saw, the light was laying on the ground on the car. Let's just make sure that we don't allow any combustibles near a heat source. But now they've upgraded to a fire tetrahedron, which looks like a pyramid, and it includes one more vital component. Who can tell me what that is? Combustion. Mm. Chain reaction. Chain reaction. Okay. Combustion was close. I'm going to give it to you. Who said that? Paka? Koa? Oops, sorry, Noah. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up. Hey, can I guys stop Googling his answers? <laughs> All right. What is the source of oxygen for a fire? Breathing. <laughs> air. Tony's right. Air. What's the source of oxygen for a fire? Is that applicable to all fires? No. Why? Because. Because why? Because of the fuel source. All fires. What? Because of the fuel source. Depends on the fuel source. That's exactly right. You ever do the file magnesium scrapings and then light that stuff? That will actually burn underwater. Phosphorus is another thing. A whiskey peat. Who knows what a whiskey peat is? It's a, it's a grenade. A white phosphorus grenade. What else does water do to a fire to help put it out? Okay. It gets it wet. What does that do? Take away the oxygen. Take away the heat. Okay, we already said it takes away the oxygen. How does it take away the heat, Tony? Because you're right. How does it take away the heat? Cool it down. How does it cool it down, Micah? Very careful. <laughs> Not just by wetting it. There's a process. And you guys all know this word. It happens every time you sweat. Perspire. Not perspire. Perspire is another word for sweat. What happens? Perspire. We're talking about how to cool something down, right? Said it cools it down. How does water cool something down? It starts with evapor, ends with ation. <laughs> Evaporation, good job. All right. Good job, Farrakhan. All right. Evaporation is the process by which water removes heat because when the water turns to steam and then it goes up in a gas, it's taking heat away from that fire. Okay. And yes, it definitely depends on what kind of fire. We're talking about combustible fire here. All right. So what type of fire would sodium metal be? A, B, C, or D? Sodium metal. C. D. D. D, correct answer. Oops, sorry, short. That was the only answer left, No, somebody didn't say B yet. Oh, okay, you're wrong. <laughs> I didn't hear. All right, so D. Okay, no, Did you say D or B? Did you say D or B? Did you say B ten times? You were wrong ten times. All right, let's move on. Good job, Rick. All right. If the following material is burning, what type of fire would it be? A, B, C, or D? Paper. A. 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 B. It's B. Sorry, Sherwin. Bad throw. Uh, plastic. B. 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 Plastic. A. B. Plastic A. C. <laughs> plastic A. Anything that's like a flammable liquid. So now you tell us this. <laughs> it was a quiz, Ben. All of that fire is very perilous. A class B fire is any kind of flammable liquid. 
A class C fire is what? Scott, Dennis, Greg. Electrical. <laughs> Noah, electrical. Okay. And a class D fire is. A class D fire is. Metal. Who said metal? Bama? Joe. Joe. Me, me. All right, metal. Okay. Anybody here have any personal experience with fire? Yeah, I've said a lot of them. You've said a lot of them? You have? What happened? You were five years old, you burnt down your mom's house. How did you start the fire? A what? A lamp? Wow. All right, anybody have any questions or comments? All right. Let's, uh, what? No? Let's go warm up.